You probably couldn't tell by listening to this show, but turns out we all attended school. Yeah. <laughs> At least in yeah. some form or another. Yeah. Uh-huh. It's Brooke and Jeffrey in the morning. And just like anyone else, we had our share of embarrassing memories from those days that we hoped we could just bury and keep a secret forever. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Well, not going to happen. Okay. <laughs> oh, great. Instead, we're going to relive those cringy moments right here on the radio with a special edition of True Confessions Back to School Edition. Oh. Okay. Because everybody's heading back to class right now, and we're going to honor them by making fun of ourselves. Great. So if you aren't familiar with how this works, each member of the show has two envelopes in front of them. Inside each one is a confession that we've written down about something from our high school days, something other people in this room do not know yet. Yes. Yet. The thing is, one confession is true. And one is a total made-up lie. Mm -hmm. So when it's your turn, you're going to be told to open one of the envelopes. You read your confession out loud. Then the show's going to have 30 seconds to interrogate you to figure out if what you're saying is actually a true story or if it's a bold-faced lie. Mm -hmm. And, you know, (laughs) again, to honor all the kiddos out there going back to school, all the confessions will be school-themed. Yeah, Yeah. good for you, all of you school kids. Because, like, school kids. (laughs) (laughs) It's been a hard hard couple years yeah. for you all. So Go out there and make those yes. mistakes, because yeah. we sure did. Let's get started with Brooke. Alexis, which <sighs> envelope should she open? One or two? One. One. All okay. Right. The cool kids in the back of the bus hit me with an egg salad sandwich on the way to school <gasps> once. Oh. <Ooh>. True. <laughs> what? It's coming like that, huh? What did you deserve? What did you do to deserve yes. it? I didn't do anything. I was just sitting down, minding my own business with my friend Nicole. Mm. What did you do after? I tried to wipe it off with the towels from the bathroom. You didn't... Did you laugh or did you cry? Uh, I was more shocked. Okay. Yeah, okay. I was in disbelief. You didn't retaliate? No. Had this happened before? Are you kidding me? There was like fist fights on my bus. People Whoa. were carrying weapons. Did you at least eat the sandwich? Oh, that's <laughs> not, that's not. oh time's up. Oh. Wow. Oh, okay. I still want to know if you ate the sandwich Can or I not. Go first? Yeah, what do you guys think? Is she telling the truth or is that a lie? I think it's a lie because Brooke was one of the cool kids in the back of the. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, good joke, man. I love you. That was funny. Uh, I'm just kidding. I, I think it's fake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Of course you're not. Cool. Alexis, what do you think? I think it's true. Okay. Yeah, I, I think it's true too. She's definitely true. getting hit in the back of the head with an egg salad true. sandwich. The cool kids in the back of the bus hit me with an egg salad sandwich on the way to school is true. Oh, yeah. oh, no question. We there. didn't even need the 30 seconds. All right. Jose's turn. Oh, okay. Brooke, which envelope should he open? I'm nervous. Uh, two. Oh my gosh. God, envelopes are like child proof. <laughs> Come on. All right. Okay. Now second hard part. Reading. Okay. Okay. My freshman year, I accidentally passed gas so loud, Ew. the whole class thought I pooped my pants and cracked up laughing. <laughs> what grade were you in? Freshman, freshman year. year. Oh, you already said that. Sorry. Uh, uh, was there anybody that you had a crush on in the class? There was a girl that I thought was cute, mm. but I, we weren't, like, talking or anything. Okay. Uh, okay. What, so what did you do yeah. when it happened? Uh, I turned bright red. Yeah. Everybody laughed at me. Did you have to go to the bathroom and change your pants? My teacher asked if I had to use the bathroom, which made it worse. Uh, Stop. Oh my God. Did you just accept that? I just took it and just kept sitting there. Did people move on from (laughs) this? You stood in it? Oh no. Okay. Time's up. (laughs) Time's up. I stood in it. I didn't think of that. I just sat in it, I guess. I guess you're right. Uh, That seems a little unbelievable that you would just sit there, but. I guess what else would you do? I'm going to say it's true. What do you guys think? Uh, I actually think it's false because I think if Jose farted, he would actually own the joke of it. Mm -hmm. I think that he was like class clowny, you know? That's where his laugh would have came from. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) I kind of think it's true. Just kind of gross. Okay. Jose, sorry. What what is Uh, it, Jose? My freshman year, I accidentally passed gas so loud the whole class thought I pooped my pants and cracked up laughing is... Very true. Oh, oh I literally bent over to pick up a pencil. Oh and no! Oh, it was God. like that the came out. Absolutely, I didn't even feel oh. it coming. It just oh, was that's like, so sad. Yeah, that is it, disgusting. It was. I transferred schools I'm, thankfully after that. Oh, Not I'm, because of that, but like just. I'm glad you don't do that anymore. Well, I do that. Yeah. Just, just when we're not in the yeah. studio. Exactly. <laughs> All right, it's my turn now. Uh, Jose, which envelope should I open? One or two? I'll go with number. 
Number one. Number one. All right. <laughs> in middle school, I was self-conscious about being a late bloomer. So for two weeks in the spring, I stuffed my pants with a sock. <gasps> oh! Do guys bloom in that way? <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, it's not like girls where you're like waiting to well, get out. It is. One day you uh, wake up and you're like, it gets dang, bigger yeah. Day. Guys yes. talk about their size a lot, and it yes. starts in middle school, and I yes. got really self-conscious about it. Did anybody it. notice? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Whose sock did you use? My own sock. Ew. Okay. What, 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 what did you put? <laughs> was it like hanging to a rock? Uh, I don't recall that what? detail of it, but I can Bro. go find a picture for you later and send it if you really want it for your enjoyment, you, you weirdo. Wasted. Brooke, you wasted our whole time on a weird-ass question. What? Brooke wanted the details of what it looked like. I think Brooke's still never seen one. Okay. okay, so based on that, what do you think? Look, Is that a true okay. story, or did I make that up? Just from my own experience and bros in middle school always talking about how big is yours and have you measured it yet... I think you are absolutely telling the truth. Uh, okay. I think it's, it's a big uh, thing for middle school kids. No, I think that's fake. I, I think, think that if you actually had a sock in your pants, it would look <laughs> way too big. Like, it would be unbelievable people would have noticed. I fake. back her. I'm with fake as well. Yeah. Uh, right. Guys versus girls. In middle school, I was self-conscious about being a late bloomer. I mean, that part might be true. So for two weeks in spring, I stuffed <laughs> my pants with a sock. That's true. Oh, oh Jeff! Bro, high yeah. five! That's so high weird! Five when you're so I, I don't know what? if I should high five to it. I'm embarrassed <laughs> by it now. Like... How are you making fun of me getting hit by an egg salad sandwich? I just <laughs> shoving it socks true, down. I thought about it. I never did it, though, but yeah. I definitely oh, thought Jeff. about it. It's, I don't know. <laughs> so, I didn't realize that it really is not that big a deal, kids. It's, it doesn't matter. Oh. Uh, yeah, well, that's what the girls tell us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. cute. Okay. Now our social media coordinator, Alexis. Time for you to open an envelope, Brooke. Which one should she do? Uh, one. Okay. Watch, she also stuffed a sock in her yeah. pants. <laughs> in my shirt. Yeah, in your shirt. Uh, okay. All right. I wanted to date a guy that was older and had a car so I could avoid the bus. So I dated a guy with a red minivan that the upperclassmen called the Red Rocket. <laughs> Oh my Wait, gosh. They, they called the guy the Red Rocket or the no, van? The, the van. van. Okay. <laughs> that's important though. Yeah, that's. Uh, how much older was he? Uh, than you? two years. Okay. What was it? How long did you guys date? Uh, like a few years. Oh, years. Wow. And that's the only reason you started dating him was because of the van? Uh, yeah. Well, how many times person? did you hook up in the van? <laughs> uh, like a few. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you break up? Uh, just because he was boring. Because of Red Rocket. Were you <laughs> cooler Rocket. afterwards? No. Oh, time. Oh, time. <laughs> All right, time's oh, up. Man. Oh. What do you think about that one? Is that true? A few years? Yeah, the only thing that what threw me you? off was she said a few years they dated. I don't know. I'm going to go fake. I think it was fake. I think, I'm still going to say it's true because I could totally see her just dating someone for their car. Yeah, so I, I'm going to say true. Well, I could see her dating someone for their car, but she would never stoop to a red minivan. So I'm Ooh, saying that's a lie. Okay. Okay. I want to date a guy that was older, so I dated a guy with a red minivan that was an upperclassman. Is true. What? Oh, oh, for God. a couple of years? Ah! Yeah, I thought I was cool to date someone older. Yeah, like oh, a freshman dating girl. a junior. I'm like, older than they had a car. Yeah. And then as I got older, I was like, a minivan's so lame. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> we, oh. we, we had a rough school time. Yeah. Yeah. At least yeah. I, I avoided the bus, though, Brooke. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's true. <laughs> All right, well. No egg salad sandwiches for her. We've gone through one round of wow. school confessions. Already learned some pretty horrible stuff about each other mm-hmm. but we're gonna learn more <laughs> secrets from our school days when we continue Yay. true confessions back to school edition right after this <laughs> if you're just tuning in we're in the middle of a game of true confessions back to school edition yes. where each member of the morning show has two envelopes in front of them with written confessions inside admitting to something that we've done in our past something that happened in our school days mm-hmm. because kids everywhere are going back to class right now now remember One of the confessions is a true one. One is a total made-up lie. And so we pick one of the envelopes, read the confession, and then it's up to the other members of the show to ask questions and determine from their answers if the statement is true or if it's a big fat lie. Yes. So we're ready for another round. We've got two brand new envelopes in front of us with two new confessions inside, and it's Brooke's turn again. Jose, choose her envelope. I'm going dose. Right. That means two kiddos, if you didn't know, <laughs> in French. Yep. Go ahead, Brooke. 
sad nobody got that joke. I got it. <laughs> like, like, oh, didn't know that. It wasn't funny. Um, <clears throat> I showed up to the SATs in pajamas because my friends who had already taken it told me everyone did. I was the only one. Oh. <laughs> I can't believe you took the SATs. What was your score? <laughs> my SAT score? I don't know. It was like around 1,300. Is that good? <laughs> it was. It's a lie. It is. <laughs> it's a lie. It was. Okay. Wait, so why'd your friends lie to you? I don't know. Maybe they, they did. Maybe it was true sad. when they win, but not when I win. What reaction did you get when you walked in wearing pajamas? Well, I didn't know anybody else there. It was like people from all over. Like, so they just ignored you? It just wasn't my school. She's just a weird girl. Yeah, they didn't <laughs> yeah. say anything. Nobody said anything. Uh, yeah, she made like I was just her. really uncomfortable. What kind of pajamas were they? Like uh, uh, flannel bottoms. Mm. All right. Time's up. I'm going lie. Really? Yeah. yeah. Because, f- first of all, if you take the SATs, you remember exactly what your score was. What? You don't get I don't it like a, it was a general guesstimate and 1300. <laughs> my God. Yeah. Okay. How smart do Is you that think? Good? That's really good. <laughs> no, mine was like, I think it was between like 1270 and Okay, so now I think it's a lie. Yeah, see, she now she's I going agree. all over the place. I'm saying lie. <laughs> okay. Jeff's logic helped me get to my logic, which I believed you at first, but I think he's right. You would remember your SAT score. Mine was zero because I didn't take <laughs> it. I remember. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I took it twice. Uh huh. Oh, now you took it again. Okay. Lies, lies, oh. lies, lies. Extra lies. I think it's true. I think you'd be stoked to wear pajamas in yeah. public somewhere. <laughs> she still does. What yeah. is it, bro? I wore pajamas to the SATs and I was the only one. Is true. Oh, oh, yeah. really? yeah. oh, you got me. I don't know what my score was. I mean, it was somewhere around there. Oh, wow. it, was just, it was just really good. That's yeah. all I remember. No, I mean, it was all right. <laughs> Do you regret it? You're probably happy you wore pajamas, huh? Yeah, I did fine. I, don't, oh. I did worse <laughs> on the ACTs. Oh, you mm. took both. Yeah, I didn't know okay. that you couldn't. Okay. I, I, they didn't tell me I could bring a calculator. Yeah. No wonder you got hit uh, with an egg salad I sandwich. I would throw an egg salad time. sandwich, too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jose, you're up. Uh, Alexis, choose his envelope for him. Number one. In eighth grade, I had a huge crush on our busty librarian. (laughs) So every time she would walk by my table in the library, I'd flex and smile really big. Oh. Wait, what was the librarian's name? Her name was Samantha. Did you have her first name? Well, yeah. Did you have to be in the library or is this my choice? Well, I was in the library a lot. I would tell my teachers I had to study and I would go and just Uh, BS on the internet. (laughs) You read read books? That's what I'm (laughs) stuck on. I'm like, what? I went to the library for the internet. We had the computer. Uh, Oh, okay. What was the flirtiest thing you ever said to her? Uh, You look really pretty today. Oh. Oh. I remember. Did you ever get some positive vibes back? No, because I was a child. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Okay. Good like You didn't go to but my high school. She was younger, so I thought I had a chance. <laughs> okay, time is up. Time is up. So what do you guys think? True or false on that one? Uh, I kind of think it's true. Uh, I don't think that he likes smart women. I think it's a lie. <laughs> I was, was going to go with true until Brooke said that, and then I realized it's probably a lie. What is it, Jose? Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, in eighth grade, I had a huge crush on our busty librarian, so every time she walked by my table, I'd flex and smile really big is a lie. Uh, uh, yeah. 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 I should have said Samantha. Yeah. yeah. Like Mrs. White. Or uh-huh. yeah. <laughs> you know her by like, first name. But I did flex on a lot of girls. I bet you did. I did. Yeah, yeah. I will say. But they wow. were in the library. Yeah. No, 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 no. They were at recess. You know, I like the bad girls. They're skipping. All right. I'm up again, Brooke. Which one am I opening? One uh, or two? Open uh, one. All right. <laughs> I did chill in the library a lot and just sneak into That's the computer surprising. lab. I could totally see you flexing to get a girl's attention. <laughs> my parents didn't approve of my college admission. True. Yeah. <laughs> my parents didn't approve. My parents true. didn't approve of my college admissions essays, so they rewrote them themselves. No oh, way. Man. Why? Uh-oh. Okay, who did the writing? My dad. And now I believe he's it a more. perfectionist. He's Whoa. really young. Did he rewrite what you did or write it totally new? He wrote a completely new one. What? About a totally different topic. Oh I don't even know what it was gosh. about. Did you get into those schools? I got into a lot of them. Uh. <laughs> yeah, you did go to a good college. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I will oh. say the college that I got into was oh. not one that he wrote. Sure, you just don't oh. want to get your degree what, taken. What did you originally write about? I wrote about. 
It probably something about soccer. I don't even remember anymore. Oh, it does sound lame. It, yeah, I, I know. would delete that too. Yeah. Okay, well, time's yeah. up. I don't wow. want to talk about it. What you My say? hardest adversity in life is when I lost the <laughs> soccer game. Look, we all know Jeff's parents have super high standards for him, which is why they don't like that he's the host of a radio show. No. Yeah. So I'm going to say it's true. I can truly see your parents like wanting Dude, to help you get into a better school. Jeff's dad at the party a couple weeks ago asked Boyd what he wanted to do when he was done with this stupid job. Yeah. Like, what <laughs> really wanted to do with his life. Uh, I'm the executive so producer of a giant just show. Just based on that conversation, I'm going true. <laughs> I think it's true, too. I believe it. Uh-oh. My parents didn't approve of my college admissions essays, so they rewrote them themselves. That's false. Oh. 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 Come on. Jeff is a good liar because yeah. his body was language it about, changed. Was it about soccer still? I, I don't I don't really remember okay. what my essays were about, but it, uh. it probably was about something really lame, like, yeah. like okay. my soccer. Probably. I was captain of the soccer team. <laughs> Cares. All right. All right, Alexis. All right, you're up. <laughs> and uh, why don't you open envelope number two? Okay. Why do we have That's to sad. seal these? I know, right? <laughs> can, can we just leave them not hey, sealed? Producers. I'm going to open them in two seconds. Okay. In order to pass my Spanish class in high school, I wrote all the words on my inner thigh and wore really short shorts so I could look at them under the desk. Oh my wow. gosh. What color ink? Just a pen. Yeah, there's multiple color oh. pens. What color yeah. was it? It's a black okay. pen. Red stands out too much. Did anyone notice? No, I would like, get in trouble, Brooke. How did you walk, though? Yeah. Like, if you walked, someone would see the inside of your thigh. No, I just did it, like, right before the test. Like, right before class, like, in the bathroom. Oh. Uh, and then went, went in. in. Not walking around all day. What, did that's you, what I thought. What class was it? Spanish. Spanish. Oh, did sorry. you pass? Yeah. What's your I'm here now? What word do you know in Spanish right now? Oh, okay, well I don't remember much. Hola. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, that's I don't a know good what sign. That means, Time but it is sounds up. like Spanish. <laughs> what do you guys think? Is that true? Uh, I actually don't think Alexis is a cheat. That's what? the one thing no. that I won't uh, I, that I'll give her. I, I literally that... saw a video of her cheating at at the games that we played <laughs> on the Brooke and Jeff show. That was not a cheat. That I'm saying cheat. I think it's false. I don't think she cheated. Okay. I think because we've seen her cheat, Jeff and I, oh, I God. think she's a huge cheater. <laughs> yeah. in everything she does. That wasn't cheating. And she hits curbs and she cuts corners. On everything she does, <laughs> I think yes, you're a cheater, and it was true. I'm going to say it's false just because I don't want you to be a cheater in school. Oh, yeah. uh -oh. Well, in order to pass my Spanish class in high school, I wrote all the words on my inner thigh and wore really short shorts so I could look at them under the desk is a lie. Whoa. I did it. Not because I don't want to cheat. I took French. I cheated in other ways. Yeah. <laughs> <What's this? laughs> okay. But the short shorts, that oh, was so true. So the Spanish yeah. part was the lie. Yeah. I didn't write them on my legs, <laughs> you know. <laughs> that was True Confessions Back to School Edition. Oh, man. I'm assuming you you're all worse for knowing us better. So yeah. I yes. apologize on yes. behalf of everybody. Sorry, guys. It's Brooke and Jeffrey <laughs> in the morning.